Hello YouTube and welcome back to Yesterday Year Dudes Gaming Channel where we play video games for the Yesterday Years and I'm playing video games on current and modern time. Today I'll be continuing my Long Live the Han Let's Play of Leo Bay, uh, Episode 3. So if you have not seen Episode 1 and 2, you might want to check it out. But you don't have to, if you don't want to, we can just start here. Uh, in the last episode I was able to repel Cao Cao. He sent out a pretty large force to try to attack Kuo Lao Gate right here. But I pushed him back and he also sent a siege, two siege army from Ma Zhu Cheng to try to attack me. But again, I pushed him back. I pushed back that traitor. And in the process, I incidentally made an enemy <laughs> in Xiao. And he is now uh, attempting to, to take Ming Jin, Ming Jin from me. He is sending a, uh, a ship uh, by uh, Gao Gong, a unit of 17,000 troops. So I, I have to defend Walao and the port at the same time as I'm still dealing with Hassan. So yeah, let's jump right in and play. Uh, this army, I believe, is retreating back into the castle, which is good. I need Lubei to go back into the city so Lubei can take on Yun Shao. 17,000 men. I'm gonna let uh, Yun Shao take the port, and then I'll send out a force to meet him at the port. As for the forces down here, I'm gonna attack. I'm gonna defeat this army. I do want. I want to take Chen Chen Liu, but I don't know. I'm kind of worried at this moment now that I've made an enemy of Yun Shao. I didn't mean for that happen, but it happens. So I'm just gonna have to deal with it. My new, I have a new plan now. My plan is to take Zhu Cheng, destroy Wong. I need to eliminate this small state right here, this small faction right here. They are just a giant inconvenience because they can turn on me. They could turn on me, and then I'm gonna leave Lu Biao alone, alone. Lu Biao over here, so he can, so he can deal with our Sensei. I'm not. I'm no longer gonna advance it to Cao Cao's land anymore. I feel that it's not. I feel personally that it's not gonna be a good idea. Why? Because if I do push too deep into the, the this trader's land, I could be sandwiched by Yun Shao and Sun Sei. Uh, Sun Sei is currently at war with um, Cao Cao. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually pull back after I, de I defeat this force and allow Cao Cao another day to survive. <laughs> and I'm gonna move north and take the northern part of the central plains and fight Yun Shao. I need to make sure that I sec secure my flank first. That's the smartest, smart thing, smartest thing for me to do as of right now. So yeah, enough talk. Let's jump into the game. <laughs> so let me click on this army. Let me click on Ma Feng's army. So it's already been, uh, he's already been, his actions have already been done. That's good. Oh, he's gonna attack this army. Like I said, I'm gonna move back. Perfect. Uh, gotta make sure that we go to the city. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Uh, no attack, pursue, disallow. He needs to go inside. Uh, this city will be mine within this turn or the end of the next turn, I'm sure. Then I'm gonna declare war on this guy as soon as I repel that this fleet of 17,000 troops. Uh, I need to increase my troop, troop members over here because I'm gonna launch an uh, offensive. So, uh, so I can't drop any more. So I'm just gonna start pushing troops out. I'm not gonna attack. I'm gonna send. I'm going to. I'm going to send him to the wall because for some strange reason, strange, strange reason. That force of that's this tiny army of one didn't attack me. They decided to attack Taza, which is to my benefit. Uh, to my benefit, it's good because I can't actually handle. To be quite honest, I can't handle him right now. <laughs> I'm at war with two other armies, so it's good that he didn't attack me. I'm going to sneak attack him now. And again, like my um House of Tao let's play. If uh, this this faction does attack me, I'm going to abandon Tan Shui and abandon um G Ping can't defend those uh, cities, can't fight on two fronts, so I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna abandon them, but for now they're not attacking me, so I should be okay. S so now go on to the cities, oh, let's check. So I'm assuming that all the cities has been one left here, let's just buy some food, because my food is pretty low. Okay, increase the food, okay, perfect. Uh, then for now I'm gonna end the turn and just watch the action phase. Okay, here we go. I'm more than confident that Cao Cao will play a defensive role now. He won't attack me, I'm assuming, because he, like a fool, he, had, he declared on uh, the last episode, if you guys have seen, he did declare one uh, on Sun Tse as well, so he's in, like again, like I said on the last episode, he's at web 3 fronts now, he's, he's just putting himself in dire situations. <laughs> so we refuse our tactics, three of the power on the Ma Chao and Zhao Yun, and then along with that picture. 
that's going to be super powerful, but the whole force is destroyed essentially. So all 3,851 men has been destroyed. This is terrible. We must recover our position without delay. Haha, <laughs> Zhu Guang, he's gone. Hopefully, I, hopefully I've captured him. Uh, I'm assuming I did him because they're not in melee, melee formation. So the army has been completely annihilated. Hopefully they return and they are they have returned. Uh, Eugene has been captured. Perfect. There's some other officers as well. We'll check the enemy's strategy base. Arrow, at the ready. You break through the enemy's line and overpower them with the running tactics. Go, yes sir, you do. Destroy them. So it's our turn now. Or oh, will be alone commanding this army. Just lost a thousand men. This is terrible. We must we must recover our position without delay. Ha ha ha! Take that, Zengji. So he's a Zeng J. Okay, so siege towers attacking the left. My arm is attacking from the right. This guy's just not sure what to do anymore. So Zhu Chen's gonna be taken. Oh, um, I think so Zhu Chen might be taken by could be possibly taken by the smaller force because I'm currently fighting a force outside of the city. So I think they're retreating back into the city now. Let's let's see. And they are it. Correct, they are. So my siege tower is falling back down because they are almost out of men. Only at 600 men left. Oh, so let me let me see. The siege tower, but the, the, the ship is very close now. Let me see if I can draft units. I could draft 5,000 men, but I'm not going to yet. Uh, I need a okay, So not now I'm going to attack. No, I believe if I, if I do send troops, they will automatically come back because the port will be taken and that will be useless. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait. To, I'm gonna, I'm going to wait one more turn. As for this army, mountain units is gonna uh, go inside those city walls. I think they are confused. Yeah, from that signal right here, the indication right here, they might be confused. So I can't control them this time. As you can see, if I think of mountain, it's black. I can't control them because they are confused. So it doesn't matter. It's okay. Uh, let's just go straight to rescuing the two armies down here. Mifang, yes, and obviously my personal unit. We have about 8,000 men left. Come on, Zephyr, you can do it. Okay, perfect, my guy can do it. Oops, not an enemy. I'll rescue again. One more time. Neobe, perfect. And let's send one more guy just to reinforce the other army as well, the siege tower as well. Perfect. Okay, then I want to make sure that he retreats the siege tower because they have no men left. They only have 600 men left. I'm going to retreat them and then next turn I'm going to try to tell you turn them back, back about to attack our uh, Zhucheng. <laughs> they, they need to be reinforced first. So hope, but hopefully they, but my, my, my hope is that they get reinforced away from the city because they are taking damage. <laughs> and again, I hope I, I do take the city instead of this guy. Because um, if, if two if two um, different faction attacks one city, for those of you, those of you who don't know from this in this game, whoever does it, uh, the majority of the damage gets the city. So, and then I, I'm not sure if I did more damage or he, if he did. But I think I believe I did. But he, there's a chance he could have he could have he could have done it. But it's okay if he does if he if he does take the city, it's perfect because his forces are now um, stretched in two cities under twenty thousand. So I can launch this an attack over here. As soon as I deal with this stupid Yin Chao force, it's <laughs> another force of him to attack as well. So it's perfect. So I'm not gonna complain. Oh, oh no, 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 I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain at all. So let's rescue again from the wall. Uh, my personal unit, I'll be obviously. Oh, let, let me check what my what my um, maximum amount of troops I can have is. So it's only 10,000. So I'm, I'm not gonna rescue anymore because there's not really no point if he can't he can't if, if he can't um, if if the cap is at 10,000, you can't rescue anymore anyway. So it's just a waste of time. So for now, I'm just gonna buy food since my food is pretty red. Set the danger zone. Okay, so there we go. It's not red anymore. Perfect. Okay, I can't spend any more gold because I'm at 4,000. Gotta, gotta be careful. Okay, so I'm just gonna drill now. Drill for the remainder of the cities. And then wait for Yinshaw to come in. God, I, I I was doing well. I was I was gonna push into Tossal's territory, but darn it, Yinshaw, you you ruined my plan. But hey, that's just that that's, that's just the way of war. Nothing ever goes to plan. <laughs> you just gotta make sure that you improvise the best as you can, and I'm doing that to the best of my abilities. Okay, so everything has been done. Oh, let's let's see if I, I can if I if I have to reward anybody. So I reward these four officers to increase the loyalty. With such gen generous treatment, I will ensure my service to you is even higher, uh, even higher caliber. The loyalty of Lon Liu Hua and three other officers is increased. Perfect. Okay, let's enter now. On to action phase again. And come on. Come on, give me Zhu Chang. Please just give me Zhu Chang. I don't wanna 
I don't, I don't, I don't want to deal out the fighting. And, okay, so Yun, uh, Yun Shao's unit has attacked our port. Then engage arrow, arrow rain tactics. Equip your arrows and target the enemy's defense. So the port is going to be taken within one foul swoop. This is never done And bam, there we go. The port is taken. The port is Help! Again, no troops, no, no, no officers. So the troops are screaming. <laughs> So we, we, did, we didn't lose the port? Did we? Didn't we? Uh, archers, send your arrow speeding oh, running. He's still not within range yet, but he will take his time. So I'll turn him into a task for change. Perfect. 1358. Hmm, I have not seen such damage here. You keep saying that. Go ahead and keep saying that. So he is going to take it now. So the poor Ningjing has fallen to Yunxiao. God damn it, Yunxiao. You are a vessel to the Han. Why are you betraying the Han? <laughs> so perfect, we are reinforcing our troops now. Great, perfect, excellent, excellent. So some of the troops for Madai's unit has dropped off because we've reached the limit, so they've gone back to the, into, into the um, city. So I do have six, my tower has been reinforced from 600 to 6,000 now, so I'm gonna like, turn them right around, like I said, to further reinforce the cavalry unit. 4,000 mil left, so I think it's gonna increase back to 6,000. Yep, I knew it, I knew it. There is a, there is reportedly a talented officer somewhere in Wu Lang. That's too far away, I'm not gonna even try. I don't have time for that. <laughs> Wu Lang is, is over here. All the way down hit by one of the white castles over here. <laughs> white castle! Yeah, right here. White castle! <laughs> okay, so. Let's survey the map. Uh, Sun Tse is pushing deep into the Jing province. He's actually at Jing Ling now. He will take it. He has two very powerful armies. Their so morale is relatively high. They will take it within the next two turns. Liu Biao is in trouble if he does not do anything. So Liu Biao has sent uh, some Ali here. He has sent another <laughs> siege army to attack Zhu Cheng as well. Now, uh, Tasa is being attacked by three three different armies now. Oh, it sucks to be Tasa, man. And, and, and see, and, and, and he still declares war on Sun Tse for some reason. He sends out his siege tower, used uh, tower man, the siege tower by Sarin, for as in hopeless endeavor to try to take this um, castle here, but he fails. He's going to retreat. He will is trying to take the city, try to combat his um, losing city over here. But I don't think that Lubiel is going to be able to win. He doesn't have the talented officers like Sensei does. And over here is pretty quiet with 42,000 men. He, so um, 42,000 men over here will strike Shucho soon because. Not to some this idiotic move to attack Chucho, um, to declare one to say. And over here there's a siege tower attacking Zha Pi as, as we speak. But the siege tower is gonna lose because they only have 3,000 men. Yep, 3,000 men left. That's not gonna be enough. Uh, Luke, Luke, Luke Kwang, Luke Kong, Luke Kang. I'm just gonna call him Luke Kang. <laughs> he's, he's currently attacking this city. So, and this city here is relatively, rel relatively weak. See if, um, if Yun Xiao didn't declare one, I could actually push deep into his land. I could have taken Zhu Cheng, I could have taken Chen, Chen Liu, ta uh, captured Runan, taken Xu Chou, and uh, Zhao Pie. All of these cities are so weak, but I have to retreat now because I can't push into in, in, into his lands. I'm, I just don't want to fight. I don't want to fight him and Yun Xiao at the same time. No, I don't want to fight Yun Xiao and Sun Sun at the same time. I mean, I could. Thinking if I should. I mean, it's a perfect opportunity for me to push in. But I'm gonna be vigilant, um, um, vigilant, and I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna gamble. So back to my cities. I'm going to rescue this um, tower one more time, just so I can increase it to ten thousand. Perfect. Should I send Guan Yu? Let me try Zheng Fei. No, Zheng Fei doesn't work either. Liao Hua. Yep. So Liao, I'll send Liao Hua, and now I'm going to attack um, the port. Yun Shao's gonna pay for this. <laughs> Yun Shao's gonna pay for his treachery. So I'm gonna set them all and. Made it, made it because he is going to come in and fight me on the field. He has over 20,000 men inside that port, so he's going to send out a force to attack me. I'm going to send out 20,000 men, and I'm going to position uh, oh, 20,000 men. Position my troops. I'm going to position. Oh no, no, not ships. <laughs> position. Okay, there we go. I'm going to position Yin Cha and us uh, set the front so they can duel, and then Liu Bei is going to be in the back as backup. So here we go. We will fight in this narrow opening right here in between the port and Luoyang. And as for Hola, we're just gonna uh, drill and watch our defense. Uh, watch for an, an, another assault from Tata, which I thought he's gonna do it. He's not gonna send in troops from Puyang because Dong Ai has already been taken and there's 23,000 men there. It's just too risky for Tata to make any stupid moves, but hey, he might. The AIs are pretty, pretty dumb. I mean, I, can de I could declare war on this guy right now, just attack him right away. 
I'll wait. If I if I don't if I don't gain the city, I'll attack him right away. So let's not take care of these severe cities. Uh, no, no, I don't want to spend any more gold. This is this is the uh, last 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 turn of uh, autumn. Next turn is going to be winter. So let's go. We will we, we will uh, gain some money back from our cities. No office over here. Let's see here. There is eight men left. I don't want to drill. I don't want to draft them. So I'm just going to drill again. Perfect. Perfect. Over here, let's see. Uh, we could draft, so I'm gonna draft on 700 men. Leave the 94 men behind. Let's see. This makes a solid 2500. Perfect. Okay, do it. Let's enter. So let's. Just, I'm gonna stay over here first to see if it, an army actually comes out. I'm more than I'm more than sure it will, but just to make sure, I'm gonna check. <laughs> and an army. Oh, so look at me. So eager to use tactics every turn. <laughs> oh, I'm not complaining. I like it. It's perfect. Here we go again, shooting arrows at them. Okay, good, good, good. We are causing a lot of damage to the city, so hopefully we do. We will, we will capture it and set up the other force. And they're actually not coming out. As I thought they would be coming out. So they're not coming out to attack me. Yeah, I guess your child's. Oh crap. So one of my officers has defected to um, Tasa. Uh, Mi Fong has defected to Tasa. Tasa has successfully recruited one of my officers, but it's okay, I guess we wait. But oh, he. He's, oh crap, I lost an, I lost an entire army right here. So this 9,000 forces has betrayed me. They have pretty much switched sides. Switched sides. So the castle is going to be taken. And I have brought the fall of the city. I have taken it. Uh, okay, so it's, it did not fall into my control. It has fallen through the other factions control because they have, they've, they've inflicted the most damage. Which is a pain in the ass now. They're all they're fighting all the dying for nothing. This is not going my way at all. I did lose an officer and I didn't take the city. That's okay, I will recoup. So Eugene has escaped. I was going I was planning to employ him but I forgot. <laughs> it's okay, let's let's see. So I did capture a ton of Tata's officers. And I'm gonna execute them again. <laughs> Cause I'm not for sure that they won't join me. And I'm surprised that um they just sent out a force to attack me at Meijing, so I'm gonna send- I'm gonna reach, have them come back to the city. The base is gonna be treated. Uh, I'm gonna destroy this army that has betrayed me. Yep, perfect. Okay, then I'm going to declare war on this guy now. I'm gonna attack this city over here with three officers. Mounted tactics, mounted tactics again, and mounted tactics again. Now I'm gonna send 2100 troops to attack the city. Hopefully we could take Bong. I'm hoping we can. We might not. So this is uh, turning out a little bit more difficult than I thought I did. Again, like I said, I didn't expect the guy to betray me and to join Tasa's force. But hey, Tasa's known for his cunning, so I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Okay, let me go. Let me send on another army to reinforce my myself again because I'm down to 6,000 men. Much how we'll go and send and reinforce in and rescue. After that's done, I'm, just, I'm gonna send. My officer straight for Zhusheng, along with another force over here, Huolao. But I'm gonna wait for, as for now. No, 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 let's act quickly and just do it now. Because Tasa's weak. As of right now, Tasa's weak. I don't want to wait too long. So I'm gonna send three officers. Two officers only. Uh, Pangde and uh, Zhao Yun. I need to make sure that I have enough troops and, enough troops and officers at the wall of Huolao to defend them. Um, Tasa. You know, the guy is unpredictable. He can do anything. <laughs> okay, there we go. 20,000 men, dip wage formation, perfect. Attack this as well. I need to, like I said, I need to just destroy this force. It's just such a thorn in my side. Okay, now I want to send another force to attack. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna allow the port of Mainjing to recover. I'm gonna send a cavalry force this time. Okay, so I'm gonna have this guy. Let me see. Yeah, first I'm gonna draft first. So I'm gonna have Luo, uh, Liao Hua, uh, Liao Hua, Lu Pi, Pen Yan Shao, and this guy. All, all recruit to 11,000. I'm, gonna, I'm going to drill because 82 is fairly low. I'm gonna have these two guys drill, even though their war is not so high. But hey, anything's better than nothing. I'm gonna send these three officers now out to fight, and I'm gonna change their tactics from spears, cavalry spears to cavalry ball. I'm gonna have them go straight for leave 500, 400 men only to attack the port, even though we are outnumbered. Their tactics, their tactics will play a key role in just, just taking the taking the port back. Once Lu Bei gets into the city of Luoyang, he's gonna march right back, right back out with both tactics. 
Okay, um, everything seems to be okay now. Let me go back and check. Just one more time. Three warm officers. Okay, now, time for executions. <laughs> okay, now let's execute Tata's four, um, officers. Cause you, 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 Jin escaped, so I'm gonna kill this guy. You are going to die. Oh, what? Shu Huo. Um, again, like I said, if you see my house of Tsao, you know who this officer is. I've talked about him. He's pretty good, so I'm gonna kill him. The esteemed will be desired your execution, Honorable Zhu Hua. Prepare yourself! There's no escape now! Zhu Hua, imprisoned by Liu Bei. Liu Bei army has been executed. So our relationship has worsened because I killed a really, really high ranking officer from Tata and he's pissed off. <laughs> so he's dead. You mad, bro? You mad, bro? If you're mad, come and try, try to come get me again. So the reinforcing army failed because the city was taken. But it, 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 no matter, we are gonna take it now. Uh, now back to the domestic stuff. I need to make sure I draft troops now because we are in in some a little bit of trouble at the front of the at the front at the front of our um, state. Okay, let's draft three thousand men over here. Draft nineteen hundred men over here. And as you at Chengai, Chengai, let's draft. Another oh crap! Okay, I'll fix next one. Okay, let me check all forces. I need to make sure. I need to check to see what my relationship is with the kingdom over here. So they're equitable. Soon they're gonna go to neutral. As, as soon as I turn to neutral, I'm gonna pull my forces back. I'm not gonna stay there anymore because they will attack me. They're not gonna just sit around. Okay, so everything has been done. Oh, so pull out. Pull out. There's a couple of officers. So let's just use them to drill. Major Matang will drill. And let's end turn. Wow. This is a little bit more different than I thought it was going to turn out to be. <laughs> this is the way of these chaotic times, everyone. Sound the battle cry. The, the Jingzhu army is is the enemy. They basically were Jingzhu, so we have to declare war on him. He's not going to do much because oh well, he he has sent out a force, but this force is going to this force is actually a reinforcing army. He's going to reinforce over here, and he has sent, he sent out another force here to reinforce here. I'm assuming I don't know why the hell he's doing that. Oh no, I think he's attacking me. I'm not sure, but I could be wrong. Yeah, he has attacked me with such a low morale. He's still attacking me because oh no no he's attacking Tasa because I just saw the tactic and he just that that force just lost two thousand men. So. Uh, Mountain Titans already started at Wong, so they are attacking Wong already. Perfect. Let's see if it, so it, it, it's a hit. Perfect. They, they didn't lose a thousand men. Eleven hundred men. Help! So there's no officer over there at all. The only officer did march out with six thousand five hundred men to Zhu Cheng. And this army is gonna get crushed by me and <laughs> me and the um, other force just came out from Zhu Cheng. Men engaged Mountain Titans again, so we just, we, we are using Mountain Titans again at Wong. No, 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 this is the port now. I must say. Sorry, I must say. A lot's going on. <laughs> so this is uh, 1,000 men. Perfect. 1,100. See, that's what happens if you don't um, reward your officers. They, there's a chance they could get employed by uh, the enemy forces and then you can lose all your troops. A man engaged running tactics, speed over the enemy and overwhelm them with, with arrows. So that's my dice camera. Perfect. See, this point is going to be taken easily. We have, my office just has... Uh, really, the, the tactics are for my office are really good, so... Now too worried. 16, 12. Ah, oh, this is impossible to fight off. And that officer is pretty weak. Um, Gao Guang. He's pretty. He's pretty weak. He's one of. It's pretty a low tier officer from uh, from the uh, job. Artists shoot your shoot your fight into the heart of the enemy. All the tactics. So this is Wong again. Combining the tactics, perfect. My all my all my officers are eager to fight. So perfect. perfect. I thought it was a miss, but they didn't miss. 1480. Ah. Oh. <laughs> So the siege tower is about to get destroyed as, a, as pretty soon. Okay, so Nobuk Malube has arrived. He's probably gonna ask for the, one of his officers. Jin Yu? Ah. Hi, howdy there. <laughs> it's Steve Malube. I come here today on behalf of my leader, Sasa. What possible reason could bring you here? Did you come to say you want to attack again? So he wants this guy, Yan Zhu. Yan Zhu is uh, invulnerable to our army. I implore you to. I employ compassion. It might be better to put some thought into our response. I'm going to reject. He is going to get his head cut off. It seems he seems that you do not take our army seriously. Duh, you're weak. You're so stupid. You're tagging everybody. <laughs> you're making enemy of everyone. Okay, so I refuse to hand our officer over. Obviously, if I if I if I execute Zhu Huo, you know I'm going to execute all of them. So it is it is too late to move after 
after we are under attack. We must prepare for anything. Gwen might, Gwen might see like he, he, uh, my, my, my war rush is telling me that this guy might attack us soon because our ship is de deteriorating. But I'll deal with that once it happens. It has happened yet, so I'm not even gonna worry about that. Worry about it yet. I have my own stuff. I'm dealing over here at the other the other end of the state. <laughs> okay, let's um, reward these guys and execute the rest of the officers. I don't know why I can't ex. You, you have no prisoners. What do you mean I have no I have no prisoners? They have three prisoners right here. Oh, I think I know why. I think they are still here somewhere. My that's my my assumption. My assumption. I, I'm not I'm not 100 sure. <laughs> But let's let's try to, let's see if we can employ them. Nope. Okay, so there's this this there's uh, almost a guarantee. So I'm gonna try this guy. Even though he sucks, Jiang Kai, he sucks. He can his his attributes are terrible. I'm gonna look at politic one, intelligence fifteen, war sixty three, leadership thirty six, and he has no tactics at all. He sucks. Uh, let's see. Uh, for the best of for this this guy, okay, Guan Yu, it could work. I don't want to send any of the. Any, I cannot, I'm not gonna employ. I'm not gonna employ any more. I need to take the port first. Uh, let's see. Let's drill a little bit more. Uh, these guys who don't have the volley tactic will drill, and anyone else who has the volley tactic will go and attack the port. So I wanna send. I'm just gonna send these two guys. These two guys. I'm gonna leave Guan Yu behind to reinforce, just in case. He needs to rescue like an army or something. He could, he could do it. Uh, let's use the tower formation. Ten thousand and four hundred men. No, not four hundred nine men. <laughs> Ten thousand and four hundred men. Perfect. Man, we need to take this port back. We need to destroy Yun Shao. Let's see. Uh, how many troops does he have? Does he have over here in this castle? Shang Deng. He only has thirteen thousand over here. He has seven thousand only. So his rear, his rear cities are really, really weak. I said, uh, only in uh, Bay Ping does he has a force of 34,000, but he's worried about this guy. Because this guy will for sure attack him. It's only a matter of time. So if I do if I do take this city, I could sprint in over here and take these other cities in the back here, because they're pretty weak. But he could reinforce from him. Yi. He has 97,000 men. 97,000 men is a lot of soldiers. <laughs> okay. Back over here. Back over here. Um, the tower has only... 1300 mana. Per perfect. It's, it's gonna get destroyed soon. So we should take this within no time. Uh, let's go up here and draft. Let's make it a solid 13,000. Okay, there we go. 13,000. Over here, let's uh. Let's see. What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? One officer, Guan Yu is the commander. He's Guan Yu is. Let's just repair. I mean. This, this army here is still a little, still still strong, so I'm not gonna reinforce you. I'm gonna wait till it gets to like 5,000 men, then I'll reinforce. Over here, a whole lot just gonna drum, drill. I'll just sit and wait for, wait for Tuzzle to act. I'm not gonna do anything just yet. I'm not gonna do anything too stupid. Okay, let's draft again, since it's the next season. We have 1,900 troops. Again, over here, draft as well. We need, we need more soldiers. Over here, I'm gonna have one guy draft, and then the other guy's gonna start transferring troops right away. I wanna draft 4700, 4, I'm gonna transport 4500, leave 200 troops, be, troops behind to take, send up to Chang'ai. Okay, um, I think all of my officers has been used up this turn, so let's end turn. Let me see if I can. No, no, no that's just a waste of time. His formation is too quick, it's on quick, so it's gonna probably get into the city before I actually. Actually, because I was I was planning to um have the uh, Zhao Yun attack this army, but they're in quick quick formation. They're gonna make it into the city even before I can even touch them. So, no, not a good idea. Let's not even let's not even try. Okay, let's enter back to action phase again. So as you can see um from the map, Sun Tse has has taken on uh, Jane Province now. Over here, this castle they fall to him. So he has Jane Province now, and this is our army again. Dong Cheng is using lots of tactics over at the port. Kaboom! Perfect. Oh, really weak, but still does damage. Oh, this is the last thing I was expecting here. Oh my god, what were you expecting? Man, engage for uh, running tactics. Wipe out my defense unit and break your, your way through. I hope, I hope, I hope to God I captured this guy so I can kill him. <laughs> I need to kill this traitor. So uh, he's dead for sure. He only has a thousand. 
looking at him in the so he should, he should die. He should get the shield the rest of the forces. Nope, not, not, not all of them. He still has around 200 mana, but he, he will die after this. And there he goes, he's gone. Come on, attack me, attack me, attack me. Nope, so this. So, uh, Zanyun has used one attacking on Huo Chir. And we, he is gonna suffer some damage. Perfect, Zhao Yun did a good job. Urgh. So this is Zhao Yun in action. A formidable enemy, obviously. I, Zheng Kai, will gladly serve someone who is so generous to spare me. So he has um, joined us. Perfect. That's Tom. Tom's Tom, offers, if you guys don't know. <laughs> so let's fix your sights. Prepare to employ Volver tactics in the heart of the enemy's defenses. Again, another port. Good job, good job, good job. 12-20. Urgh, this is impossible to fight off. What should we do? Uh, why did I agree to go on this suicide mission by my lord? <laughs> so they only have 10,000 10, men left. Again, it's our turn. Now it's the faction leader's turn. Sight your, sight your targets. Break down the enemy's defenses with volley tactics. Said Liu Wei. Fire. 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 No, no, it's not fire. It's loose. <laughs> Fire wasn't actually the uh, they actually soldiers didn't actually say fire until gunpowder was made. Arr, this is the last thing I was expecting here. Now cut the ropes and set the rocks while okay no, like somebody's using trap, but I've seen through the trap, so it, it didn't work. So this guy is, is retreating for some reason. Some on god really on god you reason he's retreating. Again, uh Niju is using uh ball attacks. Choo, choo, choo. Perfect, we're just causing so much damage to the court that Yushao's army isn't getting able to do anything. Ah, that's so strong. We must send for reinforcements immediately. Should have did that two turns ago. Now it's hopeless. Again, the mountain attacking nuts. I'm pretty sure this is Wong. Nope, this is the court again. Ching Yen. Perfect. They are just suffering so much arrows by flying, flying from my units. Ah, this is the last thing I was expecting here. <laughs> So yeah, it's funny because they just keep repeating the same things over and over again. Come on, come on, use, a, use one tactic before the turn's over, use at least one tactic before the turn's over. I'm on the bunny tactics, okay, perfect. <laughs> I'm not dying. Oh yes, perfect! My office is just working so hard. 3,000 men, this is really, really powerful. Urgh, they are so strong. They are so strong, they are. We must send for reinforcement immediately. <laughs> Just give up, dude. Just surrender. Just wave the white flag. Wave the white flag. So, I'm pretty sure Zhu Cheng's gonna. As Zhu Cheng, they're gonna send out a force to attack us for sure. But it's okay. Though the officers in there are relatively weak. I don't know why I'm chasing this stupid army. Go back and attack the city. So I'm gonna reinforce again. Oh, no, 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 no. Reinforce. Not reinforce. Rescue. Rescue. Uh, rescue. Perfect. And again from uh, Lo, Yang, Lo Yang as well. Guan Yu's gonna help. Rescue team. No, 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 7,000. It's, it's, it's enough. I don't, I don't need any more rescuing. Again, I keep forgetting that my max is only 10,000. Okay, so let's recruit some troops. Let's recruit 4,000 men. Let's have some of the weaker officers do it. 3,000 is fine. And let me reward first. I don't want. I just got this guy. But, uh, I just employed him. I don't want him to leave me. Well, 75 VOT is really low, so I'm gonna give him a little bit of money. Perfect. And then let's. Send reinforcements now. Rescue this army because they're at 5,000. Just one because um, the port has 2,000 men left. Well, I mean, high 2,000, oh, 3,000, 3, but they're gonna lose it within the, by the end of the turn. And this city will fall by the end of the turn as well. And I guarantee you, this city will fall within two to three turns. Now, let me just see, take a look at Lubiao. Lubiao is relatively weak, so he won't attack me, I'm assuming. He did fail, he, didn't, he wasn't able to take the city, like I predicted. Lu Jing still still under on um, Sensei's control. The commander is Zhou Yu. Zhou Yu is really powerful, so no surprise there. Over here we have the commander of Sarmen. Sarmen went back into the city. Uh, Yin Sha did fail. He wasn't able to take the city, like I said. Three thousand men was not able to take that city. I don't know why there's a standoff here. If I was Yin Sha, I would send a, a whole lot of troops to take um, Pu Yang. 
but I'm not even sure, so I'm, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let's repair over here, back to our lands. Uh, these last three officers can buy food, I guess. Perfect. 100,000, back to 100,000. Uh, you draft more troops. Draft more troops again over here as well. Just keep drafting. Because I, I need the manpower. Uh, 40 men left, no, nothing we can do, so let's just trade. Again, draft over here too. Because there's still soldiers that can be draft, drafted. Chagai is the last one. I am going to not attack, I'm going to send a force of. I'm going to transport a force of 12,000 up to. up here, to uh, and, and, and thing. Because I'm going to do a double attack from ending around here to Hidong and then to Pingyan and then to Shangdong, Shangdang, as the same time as I'm as, at the same time as, as launching another force from Luoyang up here as well. You know, he's has, he has made a big mistake by attacking me, and he's going to pay for it. <laughs> he's going to pay dearly for it. Okay, so let's enter. So it's going a lot better now. We are going to take the cities. The poor is going to be ours, so it's, it's good. Arrows, are you ready? Uh, arrows at the ready! Close in on the enemy and overpower them with the running tactics. Perfect. Ooh. 2036. Perfect. Urgh. This. So this is so even in action. A formidable enemy. That's the fashion leader. Oh, mounted tactics. Uh, men engage mounted tactics. The enemy will be overwhelmed by the skills of our mounted archers. That is the port. Yep. It should fall. Let's check. Perfect reinforcements. Yep, it's gonna fall by now. Archers shoot your arrows right into the heart of the enemy. Mounted tactics. That's the Wong city. Uh, combining the tactics perfect. This is the time we've been waiting for. Ready? Mounted tactics. This city is done now. They're screwed. We've taken it. Yep. Help! Nobody's gonna help you now. You're done. We only have a thousand left. Unless this three thousand troops can get in at a time. And let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, close one. So we. We brought the fall of the port. The port is back under control, our control. We did capture the officers in there as well. And no, oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be extremely close. Arrows at the ready, closing on the enemy and overpower them with the running tactics. Zhu Qing's on the scene. Zhu Qing's going to fall under our control as well. 1084. Oh, so this is so this is yesterday you're doing in action. Formidable enemy. <laughs> And he is gonna... Oh, he didn't make it in, so... I think it's gonna take one more time, because the, the army did, didn't make it in back, back into the city. If only he was, if only he wasn't using that quick mission. Men engage mounted tactics. The enemy will be overcome by the skill of our mounted archers. Yeah, go ahead, Pongda. Shoot at the enemy. Oh, my. 1398. So you and you got me. I'll pay you back for this. No, you're not paying anybody for anything. You're done. You're gonna be one of my subordinates soon. <laughs> Cause I'm I'm going to plan to employ, employ them after I take them. So this poor has fallen under control. One of the uh, officers that has been captured by Yun Shao is gonna escape. I have enough of this. of being uh, coped up here now. I will break my way out. So he did escape. So now that we have a moment's rest here, no more fighting here. I'm gonna try to employ them. See if it works. Does it work? Nope, doesn't work. Doesn't work as well. Nope. These guys, their politics are too low. Let's try this guy. Nope. There are, there's a chance it might work. Let's try again. Wait. Perfect. Okay. Then let's see if Lubei can play either of these guys. No, it won't work. Let me see if I can just execute them. Yeah, I'll just execute this guy. Gao Gong. Let your finest moment pass without shame, Honorable Gao Gong. You understand why I'm here? Please prepare yourself. D don't! So he's actually afraid to die. He's not like the other guys. 
Gone going prison by the base army has been executed. And our relationship has worsened with Yashar, obviously because you killed one of his officers. Yep, there you go, he died. But I don't care. You started this, you started this. I'm just here to clean it up. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can re reward my officers. That's really important. Okay, perfect. His it has increased by 10. Let's see. Uh, I don't really need to do anything other than just... Drill. I don't want to spend any more gold. Since I'm not spending, uh, since I'm not gonna spend any more gold, I'm gonna start transporting troops as well. Just ten, I'm gonna trans transport 4,000 men over here to Anding. Again, like I said, because I'm gonna launch an attack from there. Again, 4,000 troops from here. To Anding again. And that's up. So, 10 troops are with the, uh, obviously the, the, the army is almost there, so that's good. Officers have already been used here. Two officers left in here. Guan Yu, okay. Let's see. Let's repair the city. Perfect. Oh, okay, I think every officer has been used. Let's go on to action phase. Oh, let's let me check over here. Is um, is, is Lu Zheng at, at war with Sensei? I don't believe so. But it's only a matter of time. They will fight each other as well. No faction in this game is just gonna sit around and not do anything. Unless you unless their relationship is good. But other than they will fight each other. Okay, that's end turn now. And just sit here and watch these two city get taken. <laughs> The enemy has no hope against us. Mounted tactics take up their defenses for one fell swoop. Are, are you already mounted tactics? Combine tactics again. Perfect. Sublime, sublime. I like it. Fourteen fifty-two. We've been hit hard enough. Do something. Yeah, do something. Anything. <laughs> so the city has two thousand men left. It's gonna be ours. This must have fourteen thousand. But again, it's only, at, it's only in time, it will be ours. Men engage with tactics, speed over the enemy and overwhelm them with arrows. Zhao Yun, you're kicking so much ass. I'm so impressed. Oh, that cavalry unit certainly moved quickly. <laughs> you think they were running to each other? 2046. Grr, grr. So this is Zhao Yun in action. A formidable foe. <laughs> Where there is life, there is hope. I will serve you. So, um, Yang Zhu has, um, no, Z Z Yang Zhu, I hope I'm saying it right. So, 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 so he has joined us. I was, we were, I was, success I was able to employ him. Good, good job. Perfect, good job. Men engage, running tactics. Speed over the enemy and overcome the with arrows. Arrows! Fire, 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 fire! Quickly, we have to take Zhu Chang. I don't know why my running tactic is so weak. It's only a thousand. <laughs> uh, how can this be happening to the great Zheng Zhu? Ten thousand men left. Over here, there's not even two thousand men. So it should fall. Better. It should fall now. Or two should be able to fight into the heart of the enemy. Multi tactics. Are we already multi tactics? Perfect. Combining tactics one more. Once more. Good job. Good job, guys. Guys, I was still so cohesive. So I'm impressed. <laughs> This is terrible, we must recover our position without delay. But that's the main point of war, to have cohesion. If there's no if there's no cohesion within an army, you know you're no better than just a, a group of gang. <laughs> a group of the gang. The living army has been brought about the fall of the of Wong, so we have taken it. Perfect. One more city is under our control. Restoring the Han is under his way. Well under his way. The city is now the repair is starting to go down. Let's see. Stallion has 14,000 men. I have... How many men do my unit... Does my unit have? 4,000 men only, so I'm, I'm gonna... Stop, I'm, gonna I'm gonna send... I'm gonna rescue my... My army. To make sure that it doesn't... Not get destroyed. Utterly. And again. And Ling Jing. Another... Another rescue attempt as well. Nope. This one's not gonna work. There is no... There is no cause for concern. Success, success is almost guaranteed. Perfect. Since we've taken the city, let's repair it. Because you know, it is a bit damaged. <laughs> we we were we are the one who directly damaged it. <laughs> so now let's repair it. Let's repair the ruckus that we caused. Let's wrap over here. That's how many troops? Three thousand men left. Let's just drill. There's no need to draft over here. We're we're 
pretty well protected by the port in the city. So by the port in the wall, so we should be okay. Over at the over here, let's repair. Okay, good, good. Oh, let's make sure we use this last officer as well. As well. Okay, his politics is high, so let's just trade. No officers left. That they, they repaired already. These guys are out. These two guys can just drill. I don't want to spend any more gold. Over here, let's drill as well. I need to call more officers over here so I can draw the troops over here as well. But I'll do that once I, re I employ these officers over here. Okay, so this should be good. Let's just enter and watch the city get taken. I, I don't think. I don't think. I, don't, I think it might take two turns. But I could be wrong. It could just be this turn. City is in utter ruins. Man, engage fly of running tactics. Speed over the enemy and hold on the world pharaohs. Oh, so many, so many of the soldiers are dying. Oh, yes, yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. Nothing they can do now. Seek out the commander. One you has been forced, perfect. Another reinforce, perfect. Little bit has been forced too, that's perfect. So I think Tata is attempting to try to he's attempting to come take on Zhuchang. Because Zhuchang's so weak now. Or he could he, he could be going for Bruno. We'll see. He was at the ready, close in on the enemy and overcome the running tactics. Well, I mean if he if he takes Bruno, he's just again just being such a stupid move. He's just uh, thinning out his force even more. 1066? Girl, this is just so. This is just you doing action. A formidable foe. Oh no, we're not gonna be able to take it. Okay, so it's gonna take one more turn. What I mean, what I mean by he's sending out his troops is that he's he's sending out troops. He had 24, 20, 20, 24 thousand men here. He could defend his um, Chen Chen Lu properly, but for some reason he's sending out ten thousand troops. So I guess he doesn't care. Yeah, there's not much. There's not much he can do, anyways. He's uh, surrounded by enemies. Ah, uh, I bet he really wishes that he can go um, in suit peace with um, Sensei, but that's just not gonna be possible. Okay, let's um, go through the wall first. Let's not do anything on the wall. There's not much I have to do. I'm just gonna have my commander sit there and wait defensively. How oh, something's my. Okay, let's just trade. Let's increase our income for the next season. Here, let's again repair. The city is pretty messed up. Let's see if I can employ now. Let me apply, try to employ this guy. Perfect. Success is almost guaranteed. And let me reward too. Can't forget that. Let's make sure these guys don't run away from me. Or don't be run away or don't betray me like that idiot did <laughs> at the beginning of the video. Okay. That's it, that's good for now. No officers back here, two officers. No. Let's just let's just let's just drill. I don't want to repel the city, I don't want to do any of that because I'm gonna abandon so what's the point? I'm gonna abandon once this guy attacks so there's really no there's really no um, no reason to invest any gold into the city. Okay, okay, let's just drill. The troops are very nearby now, so they should be in within the end of this turn. Okay, let's watch this city get taken up. Great. Okay, let's see where what Sasa is doing with this siege siege army. Archers shoot your arrows right into the heart of the enemy. Mount the tactics. Thirteen eighty one. Good. So when you got me, I'll pay you back for this. Two thousand men left. The city should be ours, but then I, Yang Hong, will gladly serve someone who has so generously spared me. Haha, <laughs> so he has he has this, he has he has agreed to join us as well. So yep, he is going for Runan. Okay, and the city is ours. Yay! Lubei army has about the fall about the fall of the Chuchang. See and his force has been annihilated. Zhang Zhu's force has been completely decimated by us, which is great. One less foe to worry about now. Oh, 
Okay, so let oh okay, so let me just win reward again one more time. Perfect. Let me see. So I have all these these two officers now. Well, I mean they're they're my pres they're my prisoners, so I'm gonna employ them. Yes, this this will work. So I'm gonna just send them right away to go and employ. So Yun should be able to employ this guy as well. And Pung the his politics is pretty low, but he should be able to he should be able to employ this guy as well. So yeah, I will send him too. Uh, since we have no wars, <laughs> not no wars, no battles currently going on, just gonna concentrate on um, domestic stuff now. Again, let's repair one more time. Let's try to get it to the halfway point, and then I'll stop repairing. Again, those officers are not there yet, so I'm just gonna skip right, skip their cities. Drill again over here. Uh, draft. Let's make it 26,500 men. Okay, great. Let's no, let's not, let's not draft anymore. Let's transport. No, no, let's not, let's not transport either. Let's just drill. Okay, good. Over here, I'm gonna just draft a little bit of troops. Just make the numbers a little bit more solid. They have 8,000 men. Perfect. Solid. Solid 8,000. The rest of these guys can just drill. And Ming Jing will drill as well. Great. Over here, let's repair one more time. Okay. Winter is almost over. Early, late. Two more turns. Two, two or three more turns, then uh, spring will be here. Then we will launch another, another offensive. And that should be, that should be it. That should be good. Let's enter. Perfect. Oh, they're not really, um, a lot, not a lot is going on here. I mean, I assume that Yunshao will be doing more, but he's not. So Wu Wong has declared war on Yunshao, like I predicted, up here. Oh, so he, Yunshao is doing something. I just saw a siege tower. Fate must have caused this. I am yours to command now, so he has joined me. I will be better. It will be better to live with shame than die. He has joined us also. It will be better to live with shame than die. So yeah, all three has been successful. Bing Bing, perfect. So they have launched a full 40,000 troops to attack the city. So it's gonna be a back and forth. It's gonna uh, this this battle between this, these two cities is gonna be an ebb. It's, gonna, it's just gonna be an ebb and flow until the fifty thousand troops are depleted and the city will be um, will be destroyed because <laughs> because Wu has uh, a ridiculous amount of troops in the city, so they won't be able they won't um, lose lose at any point at all. Uh, Gwyn is likely to attack us if they see an opening. We must be on our guard. It's okay. I don't care about that. Again, okay, like I said, because um, like the city has just a ridiculous amount of troops. No? Over 280,000 men, as you can see from up there. So I mean, like it's just, it's just, like, it's just for folly to even try to attempt to fight these guys. I don't know why, I don't know why they, that the AI doesn't. They have, they just have so many reserves, troop, reserve troops that it's just, it's just a bad idea to even try to try to um, defend your land when, when it comes to them. And also for those of you, those of you who don't know, you don't have to actually fight and beat the four factions at the corner to. To win the scenario, once all of the because uh, they're they're considered technically they're considered um, external external factions. They're not actually an internal faction, Chinese factions. They actually just consider factions that are external but at the border. So you know, if so, it's like for example, if I defeated everybody and I just had Liu Jing left and I defeated Liu Jing too, I will automatically win the camp. The this scenario, I don't have to. I don't have to fight the four corner factions, and that's my plan. But if you guys do want to see me fight them as well, I will do it on, it on a separate um, scenario let's play. Not on this one, and not on the House of Tower. Those those two let's play, I'm just gonna skip them. I'm gonna just focus focus on the internal forces of um, internal factions within China. Now that I got that out of the way, let's do, let's let's concentrate on our um, domestic stuff again. Since the city is in other ruins, let's 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 repair it as well. Oh no 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 no! Not a rank reward, because <laughs> these three guys just been employed and the loyalty is fairly low. So let's let's give them a little bit of money. Not to make him happy, because you know, obviously gold solves every single problem. <laughs> With such generosity, generous treatment, I will ensure my service to you even higher, even is an even higher caliber. Loyalty has increased. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, let's just repair right here. And then this last guy can just drill. And then up here, I'm going to just drill now. I'm gonna wait till um, winter is over before I use any more gold. Okay, uh, no, let's not draft anymore. Like I said, I'm, just, I'm gonna wait. Let's just drill again. Drill again. Everybody's just gonna drill now. In every single city. Yep, 
keep the man morale high, guys. Over here as well, Chang'ai. Over here, Lo Yang's full already, so I'm, I'm going to. What should I do? Let's buy a little bit more food. I mean, I'm gonna lose a little, a little bit of gold, but we're close to the next season, so it should be okay. Again, I, I, I play, I play enough. Of, I played, I've played enough of this game to know when the season's, the season's gonna change. So, every, every officer has been used. Let me just use the ones at the port as well. Let's repair. Perfect. And over here, let's drill. Okay, perfect. Um, well, that was uh, well, that was fun. Okay, guys. Um, this is where I'm gonna end episode three of my restoring the Han as Liu Bei. So before I do leave you guys, what do you guys think I should do? I'm gonna ask you guys a question. Should I push into Tato's land and try to defeat him, or should I stick with my original plan? Or no, stick with my imp stick with my improvised plan of attacking Yun Shao and consolidating the north first, so my flank is secured. That's not it is these two this small this really small faction over here that I that I defeated in my other let's play. In Yasha as well. And leave Tata to his devices as he attempts to try to fight um, Sensei and Lubiao. Or should I just take on Tata? Let me know, let me know. Give me your thoughts guys. You guys can be my strategist as well. <laughs> Give me all the advice you guys want. You guys want. I will read I will read them and I will see what um what do you guys think. Oh and now before I go I have one more one more thing to say. Um one of the viewers in my previous video, he commented that he wanted me to do a um tutorial on the game uh, a how to play and I was considering it but before I do do it I wanna ask you guys first. Should I do it or should I? I mean if he does, I mean he has requested, so I will. He has requested, so I will do it. But I want to ask you guys first: you know, Should I do it, or should I just stick to the last place for now? Because I, I want to have the, um, the majority of my subscribers and my viewers to agree on the video, so there will be more views on the videos. I don't want to. I don't want to have. To, I don't want to make a video and have nobody view it. So let me know what you guys what you guys think think about that too. And if you guys do want to see it, it's going to be a very very detailed um, let's play about every single thing I know about this game every little minute detail that, that I know it's gonna be a complete um, let how to play this game so yeah let me know guys um, and then I'll, I'll see what the results are at, at the and down at the down at the comment section <laughs> yeah so guys this is where I'm gonna leave you guys um, if you guys did enjoy the videos give it a thumbs up if you guys didn't like the videos give it a thumbs down uh, if you guys enjoy my gaming content and my movie clip content, uh, subscribe for more, both um, movie and gaming of old and new. And uh, before I do go, I want to let you guys know that I have a Twitter, an Instagram, and a Facebook fan page. So if you guys don't mind, um, go ahead and follow me and like my page. It really, again, it really um, encouraged encourage me to pump up more videos, knowing that I have followers who are communicating with me and they are uh, interacting with me on a social media level, multiple social media levels because sometimes I do miss your comments because I just get a I get a flood of comments from my movie clip videos and they overshadow the gaming videos because almost to be to be frank, not a lot of people comment on the gaming videos and I get a lot a ton of uh, comments from my movie clip videos and they sometimes they wash over the comments on the gaming videos and I, and I don't and I, I, I might not, I might not be able, I might not be able to see them so yeah follow me there as well and uh, I'll communicate, communicate with you there too. So yeah, uh, guys, um, have fun. And, uh, and thanks, thanks for uh, watching my videos. Peace.